It is a very difficult order and command from Jesus to love and to pray for those who hurt us and most especially our enemies. How can we possibly pray and love our enemies? In order to pray and in order to love our enemies and those who have hurt us, we need these three things. The first one is wisdom. The second one is mastery. And the third one is we need a wise master. The first one, we need wisdom. Meron pong isang kasabihan. The fool takes the knife and stab people at the back. But the wise man takes the knife and cuts the cord to free himself from the fools. Ang mga matatalino, alam po nila na walang maibubunga ang pakikipag-away sa iba. When we keep enemies in our lives, we end up hurting also ourselves. The wise person would always seek peace because without peace, everybody will end up suffering, hurting, and in pain. But the second is mastery. Meron din pong isang kasabihan. Pag wala ka daw kaaway sa iyong kalooban, Sino man ang kaaway mo sa labas, hindi ka masasaktan. Bakit nasasaktan po tayo pag meron silang sinabi, pag meron silang ginawa sa atin? Ito ay dahil meron tayong emosyon. At ang pinakakaaway talaga natin sa ating buhay ay ang ating emosyon. If we do not control our emotion, we cannot really love and pray for our enemies and those who have hurt us because we keep on holding to our bad emotions. Hindi po masama yung meron tayong nararamdaman. Pero ang masama ay hindi mo makontrol ang iyong nararamdaman. Mastery is controlling The master has discipline. The master has control over himself. You cannot forgive others if your emotions are out of control. In order to defeat the enemy outside, we need to master enemy from within. Third, we need to have a wise master. And who is our wise master? Walang iba kundi ang ating Panginoon. Jesus is our wise master who teaches us, who guides us on how to love and to pray for our enemies. But our Lord is not only a wise master. He is our God. Anong ibig sabihin na pagiging Diyos? He can make the impossible possible. It is so impossible to pray to love our enemies. But this becomes possible because our wise master is also our Lord and God. If we pray to Jesus, if we ask Jesus, He can make the impossible possible. We can pray and we can love our enemies.